And the story first reported by our partners of the Times Picayune, New Orleans Advocate, New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell may be on the hook for close to $30,000 in air travel upgrades. Yeah, the city's travel policy requires employees to pay the difference in price when they opt for seats in any other section than coach. And Paul Murphy reports the city's chief administrative officer could not say if the mayor intends to repay the money. Travel documents obtained by WWL TV show New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell more often than not chooses to fly in either business or first class. Metropolitan Crime Commission President Rafael Goinechi says the city's long standing travel policy requires city employees to travel in coach. We see that she has upgraded uh, her travel accommodations contrary to city policy at the expense of taxpayers. Here's just two recent examples. In March, the mayor spent more than $2,800 to fly first class to Miami for a U.S. Conference of Mayors gathering. That's about nine times the $342 police superintendent Sean Ferguson paid to fly economy to the same meeting. Other staffers paid $677. And in January, the mayor spent more than $2,300 to fly first class to a conference of mayors meeting in D.C. The rest of her entourage paid $250. The mayor has now racked up more than $29,000 in extra airfare. City Chief Administrative Officer Gilbert Montano says he doesn't know if the mayor intends to reimburse the city for the overages. Not in the loop, nor have I had that conversation with the mayor. I'm not, um, frankly aware of any of that information right now. I guess it's something we have to discuss. I'll have to discuss it with her, uh, the law department, and anything of the sorts. I also asked Montano to explain the city's travel policy. What is the city policy with respect to coach versus business and first class? Well, you know, once again, I don't want to speak without knowing all the information specifically. So, you know, a good studious way to do it is to make sure that I'm looking and evaluating that in conjunction with a law department so I have a, uh, a better realization of what the policy states. But just last month, Montano clarified the policy in a 10-page memo. It states employees are required to purchase the lowest airfare available and that employees who choose to upgrade from coach, economy, or business class flights are solely responsible for the difference in cost. The policy also states any reconciliation of travel expenses that results in overpayment by the city requires the employee reimburse the city within 20 business days. I think the public now recognizes and have had enough of her misguided um, uh, approach to what she's entitled to. Last week, Mayor Cantrell said the upgrades were necessary for her safety. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Well, we reached out to the mayor's office for comment. We did not receive one in time for this newscast.